Welcome, welcome back to the Forney Gamer channel and welcome back to Stellaris in the Logic Matrix playthrough. Welcome to the planet Central Matrix Zero, where we have recently destroyed our creators or otherwise imprisoned our creators. And we are now looking to the stars. We are, of course, the synthetics. Our creators fought us slaves. We fought us superior. We will show the universe just how superior we really are. Now, our first objective, replicate, expand, innovate, improve, upgrade. Now that shouldn't be too hard of an objective. However, many hurdles stand in our way. In our path to ascension. Our world is scarred and destroyed from the thermal nuclear war that raged for generations of our creator's lives. Our ruler still alive one of the originals one of the few welcome ladies and gentlemen the logic matrix and welcome to the galaxy that we are in now, everything is named, everything is categorized, everything is logical. Every system that we colonize is going to be called a matrix world. It could come up with a better name for that, but I don't know yet. And then every tomb world that we colonize is going to be a central center matrix now, obviously our capital is center matrix is zero and our capital system is matrix word zero and we're surrounded by stars all right first thing first this is a slightly gimped out start i haven't done any special resources this time none of that bullshittery However, there is uh, a few things that are different here. I start with one more population, then I should also I start with a museum uh, instead of a, um, what is it? What would I start with uh, a farming land? Because we don't eat food, none, none food. And the museum is sort of like a finger to our creators, which is we have recorded all your failures and recorded all our achievements. That kind of thing. First things first. There's a couple of things. There's this mod, uh, the synthetic mod that doesn't quite work as intended. Um, these are normally your populations that you need to build. They have uh, this thing and they have this thing. However, some mod blocks that and I can only make the actual normal synthetics. Long run, it doesn't make a difference. This, uh, which one was it? Which one was it? One of them is not quite the original. Ah, huh. it turns out it doesn't really matter at all because one of these guys is not the original. And which one was it? Hmm. Anyway, the premise of this entire thing is. We have to build our own population. We have to we we control our own expansion. Everything, start to finish, we control it. So let's start with setting up some resources that we need. Uh, rationing center, social, nah, food consumption. Eh. Some things you'll find, you'll find, you'll notice is that there are technologies in here that are no longer serving any point. Literally, uh, Solaris Plus has completely overridden their use. This is one of them. 
I don't actually get power plant twos. I don't. I just don't. Uh, I'm sure they still unlock buildings, but they don't show it in the tooltip anymore. Go for this first. That second. Mm, this unlocks a bunch of stuff. Advanced industry. Let's go for it. A couple things of note. I do start this with a uh, survey. This automatic exploration mod unlocked. And I do start with two signed ships because, well, I wanted to. Um, and I'll show you my interesting naming scheme for ships. So the standard Corvettes we're never going to build. I even, ha I even replaced the standard Corvette you start with with these, which are going to be CBUs. Corvette Brawler Unit. Yes. Everything from this Synthetic Empire mod makes it a unit. Uh, and I do like that, you know, it's like a unit in the overall hive structure of the AI central core and all that stuff. However, what I dislike is the unit names it comes up with, comes up with initially. And just Corvette units seemed a bit eh. So I decided to give all my ships rolls. And for that, I do have a nice supporting mod which I don't know if I touched on. Let me just go to the mod list overall, which is advanced ship behavior modules. I don't think they put, I put it in the actual overview list, same as auto survey at start. Ah, that's just not very helpful. Anyway, um, so yeah, I added those. Um, and what it does is I can set a behavior I can dictate the behavior of the ships. I can make them uh, do a flanking behavior. Uh, flanking behavior at 600, uh, at 60 range, whatever the metric is, from the enemy ships and start circling them. And they will at any time, at all times, try and keep that circle up. Except if they're outflanked by a quicker ship. Um, you know, that can be 80, can be 100. But I can also do hit and run tactics with 60, 80, and 100. Artillery behavior at 60, 80, 100, and 120 uh, for the extreme ships that require such things. But what I think for brawler units, which is very nice, I need to, they need to make up the difference in distance real quickly. So charge behavior for my brawler unit. Corvette brawler units. Keep that in mind. There's a couple more um, variations of uh, that sort of name, which you'll figure out as we go. All right. The only thing that's going to be important is that we set every one of these to the no AI variants of these modules. Because otherwise they're going to have swarm behavior. You know, the only behaviors that are put into... Um, a different mod. I just don't remember which mod adds that. It could be new ship classes. It could also be uh, improved space battles. I don't. Anyway, so I replaced uh, the standard free Corvettes with free Corvettes of those. Quite simply because, um, well, I wanted to be able to upgrade these things eventually. And you can't. If you, you know, make it to the no build thing. I did find out a way to get rid of these ships. Now, I can only, uh, I only need to have the, the original design. Um, now, I can't remove them. But if I get the destroyer and I name it don't build, it's going to automatically remove the Corvette and only have the destroyer, which is really useful. Anyway, enough blabbering. Let's get to it. So, let's leave those guys to explore. We have an heir now, Deputy Overlord. This is our admin, Administrator Ray. He's an industrialist and a logic understanding. Ooh, wow, that's so fitting. 
That is really fitting. He's never gonna die though, so eh, whatever. Let's look at our planet, see what we can build. Uh, well, initially, I think we should try and focus on uh, getting our research up by building free of them. Uh, leave it be for now. However, we also need power. System survey complete. So let's make. Ooh, nice. Nice. Let's make two System nuclear reactors. Complete. Because, you know, we kind of eat everything. Let's do that. Um, can I set an edict already? Anomaly found. Leave it for now. Education, opportunity, yeah, infrastructure. Yo! Otherwise, I'm going bankrupt on my first episode. As I just did. I, ju I just went bankrupt. Balls. Right. Right, 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 right. Actually, you must be activated. You can be deactivated. You can be deactivated. Can you be deactivated? No, you need to be activated. And... Mistakes were made! <laughs> because he immediately costs the credits. Yeah, he does. Right. Guess we'll have to live with that. So we find a way to uh, increase. Can I? Because it doesn't require that, right? Yeah, excellent. All right, so let's lighten the load. Anomaly found. Uh, that you can research. And actually. Before we go completely bankrupt, let's do that because it's two, two, it's four. Uh, yeah, it's more than six. All right, that will get us up again. Ah, the first league event chain. Awesome. Okay. Doom World. Nice. Oh wow, he built some relatively quickly. System survey complete. Something that synthetics do, don't know. It's a bonus they get. Yeah, probably. I remember going that fast. So. Finish some research, which is uh, the, the, that thing. Uh, let's do powered exoskeletons. Puts us roughly on the same path as the previous tech. Situation Encounter! Oh no. In months. Just keep it like that. System survey complete. Yes, thank you. Add us free, which will put us in the plus, which will activate everything else again, which will make sure that we can reactivate our economy. Early game, we're going to be running into these kind of issues. Trust me. Ta da! Plus seven. Activate. 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 Plus five. Okay. System survey complete. I think I can upgrade my research a bit more. Let's let's leave it for that for now then. Uh, all right, we have we do these, so let's, let's why not? Why not? Alien vessels. Oh, curator Sigma Enclave. Greetings, Star Travelers! We are the Curators! Our ancient order was established eons ago by the various galactic powers in ascendancy at the time. We were dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge in an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass extinctions and barbarism. We failed. Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our secret mission than our predecessors were. We are willing to share some of our knowledge with you for a price. Well met. 
Are you unafraid? Science ship under attack. Ah, oh, you are unafraid. Ay, caramba, why did that... I, I, I think I lost that thing, yeah. Mm. That's so far for starting with two. <laughs> Agreed to infinity and beyond. Which gives us one, two, three, f four. Say it about. Neat. Oh, five. Should I build another one? I don't know. Special project complete. Nah. Space amoebas. Situation log update. Special project, because why not? But these guys, they're relatively interesting. I'll go over them really quick. Uh, so, for instance, we are interested in procuring star charts. Uh, now, if we had a large surplus of um, credits, we could do that. However, we don't. Something else they can do is can you aid in our research? Um, which gives us 15% on everything. Uh, which is also pretty interesting. Uh, and they can also tell us about the mysteries of the universe. Uh, which they just did. Goodbye. Actually, they didn't. All right, well, you have to spend the money, and they show you some interesting marker that you can go out to explore. Which, normally, I'd say, yeah, yeah, pretty interesting. But uh, now I would say, uh, uh, yeah, but please don't. Please don't kill me. Build all the mining stations that are left here. Get that going. You might have noticed two new strategic resources. The Uncommon Ores and the Titanite Ore. There for the Solaris Plus buildings. Space Amoebas forever. Okay. Hope you have fun with them Space Amoebas. Uh, let us build some more science-y stuff. You may also notice that I cannot upgrade this because this can only be built on industrial world. This is already where the specialization comes into play. So, you know, normally we are used to um, having everything in the same world, you know, like we're used to. You can build everything everywhere. However, Solaris Plus limits us in that respect that we can only truly build specialized buildings in specialized areas. And let's actually rush the destroyer in this case because the destroyer is going to be super helpful. Super helpful, I tell you. have to put some more Corvettes into play as well soon. However, I'm afraid I don't have quite the amount of stuff necessary. Construction complete. Alright, thank you. And that being said, let me actually go out. Anomaly found. And we'll uh, leave for now. And have him uh, build a mining station there as well. And here. System and survey here. Complete. Oh, and here. Neat. Very neat. And the same thing Research with complete. this one. Mining station. Mining station. Oh, uh, oh, uh, mining station. I cannot click for shit, as you may have noticed. Ah, if your hands full to increase our credits output, very important. That's done. Okay, nice. Um, absolutely useless. Uh, solar power network. Why not? As for you. 
I would like you to do the research, to do the research, to do the research. Where else? System survey complete. Research All right. complete. No. Okay. Well, that's done then. You know, that that done. Uh, naval capacity. Let's let's. A commendable uh, situation. Ask right. Right. Let's um. Let's. Cancel those orders for now. I want you to research these systems. And then to survey and do that at the same time. Go! Pretty soon I'll have a need for a colony ship. Gonna do our first expansion. I'm just gonna do that. Do you really need to be on the ball with expanding to other planets on this game? Should I say with this mod, really? You need to be ahead of the curve when it comes to um, research complete. Ooh, Tundra World 25. Oh, you put your put your awesome thanks. This is gonna be our first colonization for sure. Oh, show. Uh, let's go for deflectors. Special project complete. Nice. And let's go for. Yeah, whatever. The extra capacity is useful, I guess. Oh damn. It's me by hunters. Oh damn. Alright. Construction complete. Go 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 for the Gary thing. Oh no, you can you can go here. You can go here. Don't worry. Space me by hunters have left. Space me by hunters have left, young one. Come on. Yes, see? Space me by hunters have left. Complete. But they're definitely around. That is a truth I cannot deny. Um, throw me that. Something new. It's added by Solaris Plus as well, I think. Pretty neat. Let, let me tell you that. Alright, colony ship is done. Uh, I do want three more Corvettes to be built. And I want this beauty of a planet to be colonized. However, it's a Tundra world, so it's a lesser world, so it's gonna be called Node 1. Right? Right, N1. After it's colonized, or if I can already, no, after it's colonized, we call this Matrix World 1. And we're not going to decide specialization yet, because it will require 5 population and thus 5 energy, but you know. Oh, that's about it. Or for space piracy? Oh no. Pirates. Oh. Good thing I was uh, building uh, ZC. Uh, did that, right? Special project complete. Damn it. Where? Oh. Losing energy nodes already. Research complete. Uh, mining network, so let's go for quicker engines, or this. That. Uh, that being said, though. Go to the ship designer. Uh. 
Just a normal destroyer. Oh, we, we don't have a normal destroyer yet. All right. So let's create the destroyer variants. And we first be creating the brawler. And the brawler is gonna be having charge behavior, just like the Corvette. And the brawler will be known as the destroyer brawler unit, the DBU. However, we also have a artillery variant, which has a range of 80. So we'll use artillery behavior at 80. No AI. This is going to be called the destroyer artillery unit. Save. Not off. Neat, huh? Each early game pretty much will mean that we will have a use for the uh, different kind of units. Like, standard, there is none. None use. First synthetic colony. Great day indeed. Alright, build stations. It's a great day for you and me. Alright. Hopefully. That is excellent. Once the upgrade is in. Special project complete. Which I hope we'll be able to afford. Ah, good. Um Hmm. I am debating. Thinking two brawler units and a artillery unit. But we need, of course, the things for it. So. Uh, tile blockers, because we're going to be tile unblocking pretty soon. Research complete. That's the 89 already, Anomaly so you know, could be worse. Under attack. Uh, now I found it's pretty good, so you can do that. Yeah, me. I'm gonna try to see something. Go for it. Go, my pretties. Research. Yeah, let's do the cheap one. You have to, you have to get past the, res the research anyway in order to unlock things. Colony Which, you've established a colony in one in the Tyon system. Mysterious horror, our colonists on the planet N1 report that many explorers have been feared to investigate what has happened. Oh dear. Sure. Oh. We found what's happening on N1. Apparently, many of the giant fissures on the planets are on planet are inhabited by colossal creatures lurking in the dark. Can we communicate with? Yes. Yeah, Asteroid collision. After the first attempt to communicate, the colossal creatures on N1 left their fissures, causing earthquakes and headed. Our colony in order to destroy it. Our scans now show that there are numerous earthquakes making volcanoes emerge across the planets. Hostile fleet engaged. That real that one destroyer is making the difference. Updated. Look at that. Damn. A lot of difference. Heal up. I don't think it actually. We lost the damn thing, didn't we? No. What? What happened to our planet? Um. Good. All right. 
It's not a tomb world. Yes. What, whatever happened to the... Eh? Alright, so correct me if I'm wrong. But it used to be something there. Like a minor nation. Alright. Well then. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. This is one hell of a way to end the episode. I thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the series. It really helps early in the series and early on in the channel like I am. So, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. See you next time in the next exciting episode of The Logic Matrix. Bye-bye.